Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another ratchet packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. Now, I did a similar video to this a couple of years ago and it's what this is what used to be my favourite traditional Christmas Eve tea. And uh, I know it's not Christmas Eve now, it's, not, uh, it's a good week off Christmas Eve so I'm going to have it for tea tonight because I can't wait, I'm actually working Christmas Eve morning, well I'm work, I finished Christmas Eve morning about half past four in the morning, that's me done for Christmas. But uh, I think I might be too tired to be filming, so I am doing it today and it is pork and stuffing butties. This is going to be a hopefully simple, simple video. I'm using pork shoulder steaks. Beautiful. I, I prefer shoulder steak off the pork to the leg. I find it sweeter, nicer. It just got just got a better taste to it. I've got my stuff in here, which is a uh, pack saw. I've got some uh, pork and leek sausages, which I'm going to stay skin and mix in with a pack saw. Put it in a thing, cook it in the oven. Wrapped in tin file to stop it drying out, hopefully. That is the plan. Then I'm gonna season these in uh I'm gonna i I'm gonna coat them in that some seasoned flour. So basically flour, salt, pepper, and garlic. Uh, and then I'm gonna fry them off. I'm gonna have to do them in batches. I'm gonna fry them off in the cast iron pan. Then when they're done, I'm gonna put them in the uh I'm gonna get some beef stock, pour it in. Put lid on it and cook it in the oven on about 180 degrees for about about an hour and uh, basically then we'll be doing stuffing put it on a muffin and uh bob's your uncle fan is your aunt pork and stuffing butties as you can hear the dry is on in the background and it has been all the way through so far but now i could do about that kieran goes to school gets covered in shit every day don't know why oh i fell over i said what in a puddle of shit Oh God. Right, anyway, we've got a bag here. I've got flour, it's just plain, plain flour. In there, there's salt, pepper, and garlic. I've given a good mixing up. These are our shoulder chops. Look at them buggers. Them are gonna be absolutely superb. As you can tell, I've took them out of the vacuum pack and I've patted them dry. So, right, what we're gonna do now is get these in here. Get them in the bag. And our usual, uh, our usual, and the chat there, it give it a good round angle. I will be dusting the access off before we go in the pan because otherwise we don't want too much flour in. But I do want the flour in the pan to help thicken up the gravy because I'm going to put gravy on this as well. Right, you can't really see anything apart from a bag of it looks like. Looks like a, a bag of Colombian goodness, doesn't it? Right, let's go back over there and start searing these off. Right, dust off the access. Let's start searing off these poor shoulder steaks. Don't worry, I will come back to you and show you the process. I think three in that pan is enough. And I've probably overkilled it with a flour. I don't know. But anyway. Let the, the, the uh, temperature get back up to there. And we'll come and check them in a few minutes. When I go for the flip. Right, let's go for the flip. Flip number one. See a Yoda pop. Let's come around this side anyway. What am I playing games at? Oh, just kick the trout off. Better than kicking the bucket, I suppose. Beautiful. Absolutely pork goodness. Right. I'll carry on with these and I'll bring you back 
when they're done, I'll be putting our big stock in. Right, that's our pork uh, seasoned off. Uh, I'm now going to drop. I've turned it down as well to be, you know, so it's not as hot. Uh, even though it, and you can't tell looking at it, can you? Uh, I just want to get the uh, some of that fond off the bottom. Some of that goodness, you know what I mean? Because hopefully this is going to be a gravy. Now I do want to put gravy on this. And I appreciate putting gravy on a sandwich like this. It's probably going to make it fall apart. And you'll have to eat it with a knife and fork. But I might do it as a dipping gravy. If you know what I mean. So you put it on the side, you dip your sandwich in it. Why not? Right, we're going to back in with our pork now. One. Two. And also, there's a lot of pork here. But this is not just going to... This is going to feed us all for a couple of days because I'm busy tomorrow I won't be able to make tea so they can have this for the tea can't they oh we all can right beef stock in that'll do lid on I'm going to leave it on the hob for 10 minutes just to get up to temperature and then I'm going to bang it in the oven but when we do that, we're going to be starting our stuffing. So as you can see there, we've got our uh, two bags of stuffing in the bowl. And uh, what beef stock I had left, which is there, I've topped it up with more hot water. So it's not overly powered, but it's got a bit of flavour to it, I suppose. And we're just going to tip this in and start stirring and hope for the best. Obviously, yes, I haven't put the sausage in yet. I haven't de-skinned them yet, but I do not want to put the sausages in there while it's red hot because I'm going to have to I'm going to have to mix it up with my hands. Uh, so <laughs> unless I want third degree burns, I think I'll give it a minute. You know what I mean? Ten at least. Honest to God, it's so hard work filming in this kitchen because I've got so limited room I can work with. And where I put the tripod. Look, it's moving all. I didn't think I'd use all that. I've never used it all. You know. Right. That'll do for that anyway. So, once this is cooled down to a standard where I can put my hands in it, that's when we'll be de skinning the pork and leek sausages and mixing that in there as well. Woohoo! We're cooking with gas. That's be cooking with hot water that's slightly beef stock flavoured. Oh, break on my thumb, you idiot. Right, like I said, let's let cool down and we will be back. Make a brick wall with that. There's our stuffing. There's our six pork and leek sausages, de-skinned, straight in. And I, I really don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's just, this might be me being here for about 10 minutes, just making sure that is all incorporated. And luckily, as look at luckily, as look at have it, it's actually it's still warm, but it's not red hot, so I'm not burning my fingertips off. Oh, there we go, it smells good. This though, this is going to be epic. This when you have stuff in the stuff for Christmas, you do want it, it does, it is a game changer putting sausage in the middle of it and mixing it in. It could be any sausage you want. I don't suggest you do like a chili sausage, like, but do you know what? I would. But that's just my preference. But no one else is going to want to eat that on Christmas Day, are they? Or Christmas Eve. Or actually, any day of the week at all. Right, I'll crack on here. And then we'll get it moulded in our little roasting tin. You know what? That is some hefty tin of stuffing. I bet it weighs two and a half pound in weight. Easy. It's filled. Look. Right, anyway, I don't want it to dry out, so I've got some tin foil here. Some aluminum foil. And all I'm going to do is just wrap it. Wrap it in tin foil. I can try not to break the tin foil, which is not hard, not easy to not break it. Right, and that's going to go in with the pork, and that's probably going to take about an hour and all, so uh, it's going to be a late one tonight, isn't it? Right, I suppose we'll be back when it's all done. Do you know what, brothers and sisters? That has been 
an hour and 30 minutes. The stuffing is still in. I've not checked it yet, but I want to give that another 20 minutes. And here we go. Look. Da, 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 da. That is going to be cooked to perfection. I am guarantee you them are going to be tender. I'm going to stick the lid on because I don't want them to go cold. I'm going to stick it on the oven, wait for the stuffing, get the pork steaks out of there, and I'm going to use the gravy in that blobby. I'm going to use the gravy in there to make a dipping gravy. So, uh, yeah, we're nearly there. We've nearly cracked it, and we're nearly having tea. And there is the stuffing. I'll go grab it then. It's red hot, but it's ready. And there we've got our gravy from the thing. That is bubbling away. I might need to thicken it up. I might not. We don't know. And there is our pork shoulder chops. Look at them. Them are just falling apart. Mmm. Good job you don't need teeth to eat them because I haven't got any. Right. Next time you see all this, I'll be uh, building a pork and stuffing sandwich. Do you know what? I was going to just dish it up, but I've got some... Uh, we a lot of garlic fry light in this house. And uh, I'm just going to... Douse this, these muffins, in garlic fry light because it is heaven. Oh, oh shit. Oh, we're going everywhere. Oh, we've had it. We've had it. Clean up in all three. Right, anyway, that's enough. I'm going to stick them in the fill fryer. Uh, I'm going to toast them and then we're going to build it. Also, I've got some dipping gravy. So I might just show you a little video of the dipping gravy right now because I won't have chance fill fryers off. Uh, I won't have chance to show you proper because we're going to be getting up here with this sandwich and getting down and dirty. And you know what? Because I'm going to have to get up here and slide the demi gizzard, I just wanted to show you the dipping gravy I've made. That is salty. That is absolute dynamite. Oh. Definitely dipping my pork and stuffing butter in that bit of gravy. Ooh, uh, missus. <laughs> Let's build it. I've got a piece of pork there. A piece of pork there. I'm not finished there. I'm going to put some... This pork's just absolutely falling apart, which is absolutely brilliant. And that is what I wanted in. Sorry, I was just licking my fingers. There we go. I'm licking my fingers again. Uh, <coughs> that's basically what I wanted. Uh, it needs to fall apart, so you know what I mean? Like me, if you've got no teeth, you can still eat it. Stuffing. This stuffing is mixed with pork and leek sausage meat. It smells luscious. It looks luscious. There it is. I've got no butter on the bread. Or on the muffin, I mean. Uh, we don't need it. Because we've got that, as you see there. And you've seen the video of it. We've got a dipping gravy. Hang on. Turn that off. The fill fryer. Uh, what's the last word, doesn't it? So let's get the lid on that. The lid on that. Let's get a thumbnail and get up here and slide the pork and stuffing butties down my gizzard. There it is, brothers and sisters. Pork and stuffing butty. I've got a dipping gravy there, which you've seen. And uh, before we do that, though, I want to I want to try and delve into this. Burn apple teeth. You don't need teeth for this. Mm. 
You could gum the hell out of this. Mm. This is the perfect Christmas sandwich. You don't have to have crumbly sauce on. You don't have to be turkey. Good old fashioned pork and stuffing, boys. Dipping gravy. Come on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm going to make a mess on the floor here. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. My God. My giddy aunt. That is the best thing I've produced all year. Now fuck off while I got bed with it. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, that for my traditional Christmas Eve dinner, pork and stuffing. I did switch it up a bit. I've never, I've never put sausage meat with stuffing, but I know it's done. And uh, I'll be honest, but I couldn't taste the sausage in it. But it give it some dense density. It, it give it some bite. It, it I, I presume it give it a bit of bit of flavour because it tastes a lot different to what it normally does stuffing when I make it. But then again, I did cover it with tin foil and stuff. It was oh, repeating on me like fuck now. Pork and stuffing, boys. Christmas Eve staple food for me, even though it's not Christmas Eve. And you know what? I smashed that Ding! out of the park. It was absolutely banging. And uh, yeah, I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I'm become a family member of hashtag Team CTB, where I fucking love you. I dribbled then. <laughs>